morning on The Dish, the home cook who became a restaurant superstar and the cookbook he just published that's quickly become one of our favorites. Ned Baldwin was originally a sculptor and didn't get into a professional kitchen until he was 35. He opened Houseman in New York City in 2015 and this year with Peter Kaminsky released the book How to Dress an Egg, a beautiful, inventive approach to a classic genre with everyone, not just the elite, in mind. Whether he's in the kitchen or on the water, Ned Baldwin has shaped a captivating career. After starting as a sculptor, Baldwin turned his passion for home cooking professional. Some people think the transition from sculpting to having a restaurant or cooking is, is, is crazy, but I mean, you're, you're sculpting when you're making the food, right? You're, you're making stuff with your hands which is, for me, sort of the baseline. That's what I do. I make stuff with my hands. <laughs> Baldwin opened Houseman in New York City in 2015 and soon found himself serving a legend in the food writing business, Peter Kaminsky, who has co-written books with many famous chefs and food fans, including Daniel Ballou, Francis Mullman, and John Madden. But his other passion was what they connected on, fishing. You're eating at his place and he comes up to you, and you think you're about to have a food conversation. Right, but no, Ned had uh, read a book that I wrote called The Moon Pulled Up an Acre of Bass. It turned out he's a maniac fisherman as well. So we enjoyed one another on that level, and I really liked the food, uh, so I kept coming back there. One day, Kaminsky called Baldwin with an idea to collaborate on a cookbook. I didn't know what kind of cookbook I could write, and I said no. <laughs> I don't even want to do a cookbook. I can't right now. I'm totally crushed by the restaurant. So he, um, he said these fateful words. He said, uh, it takes a long time to write a cookbook. <laughs> Five years later, the two have given us this, how to dress an egg. He's this guy who took his love of home cooking, learned some t techniques in a restaurant, and tried to get his cooks in his kitchen to really make perfectly simple home food and serve it to customers. Yeah, they should have like a teeny bit of crunch, still, yeah. still a little bit fresh. In order to do that, you have to come up with recipes that are idiot proof. It, it's a very, you know, accomplished level of home cooking. There's, there's 100 million cookbooks. It's tough to break through with one. I think this, this one does. Why do you think that is? And don't be modest. <laughs> um, well, it's very personal, I suppose. That's one thing. I think maybe partly it's because of the relationship that Peter and I had. What is it you try to bring out of chefs on the page that you think they may not be able to do by themselves? When you write a book with a chef, I always look for what turns them on in cooking. Baldwin's calling card has always been to eschew the highfalutin extras and focus on what matters. Like in my house and in almost all of my friends' houses, there are two bookshelves for cookbooks. There's the bookshelf in the living room with the big ones with the great photographs. And then there's a shelf in the kitchen with dirty books and the covers are a little messed up. And they're the ones that you go to, you know, yeah. every night. Like, okay, I'm gonna cook chicken tonight. Oh, Ned's got five chicken recipes in this one. Maybe we'll use one of those. From the beginning, it was really important to me to try to get onto that shelf. The dirty shelf. The dirty shelf. <laughs> when he's not writing or running the restaurant these days, you can probably find Baldwin off the North Fork of Long Island. His boat is named after his wife and his daughter. It's been a nice bond with, with the kids, with your son. Yeah, my daughter, uh, who's 13, used to go out with me some. Her name's Hazel. I said, Hazel, do you like fishing? And she goes, I like being with you, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm not gonna make you go fishing anymore. We can just hang out. But my son is into it, and he's good. He's talented. Baldwin's son, Irv, helped us catch this black sea bass. It's a great fish for grilling. It's one of the tastiest fish in the sea, and there are lots and lots of them. Which Ned stuffed generously with salt, lemon, and herbs. And pepper, too. No pepper. Don't believe in pepper. I'm pretty, uh, pretty open to herbs of all kinds. Right now, we've got marjoram, tarragon, and cilantro. We're going to stuff all those in there. I like to take the butt end of it and put it up towards the head. That's the stiffer end of the herb. So we'll get that in there. The bass takes about seven minutes on the grill. Ah, oh, it smells good. And was served alongside hanger steak, beet caponata, carrots with ricotta and pumpkin seeds, Japanese eggplant with tahini sauce, a leafy salad. This Baldwin classic, an inspiration for the title of his book, 
dressed eggs with sliced almonds and horseradish, and a spicy chocolate ganache with bread and peaches. And a variety of ways to use that. We do a Venetian hot chocolate, which is uh, hot chocolate like you've never had before. It's rich and creamy and thick. My kids are crazy for it. I think we even titled it in the book, Hazel's Hot Chocolate. And this is the fish we just cooked. Yeah. Uh, mixed peppers that are grilled and then the skins pulled off and sliced and then also grilled cherries. All of it polished off with a Woodford Reserve Manhattan. Last but not least. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Thanks for coming out. Of course. It's tremendous. Yum. Fabulous. Or a few more. Anybody want one? <laughs> yeah. Would anyone, We'd like one. Like when I'm we're, getting we're, the look. I'm getting the look. She's get there it is. Sorry. It's now in person. I, I, I promise I'll make fish and like a beautiful feast you for you him? as soon as I possibly can. Well, you brought pumpkins. I brought pumpkins this, and this, juice. This book, I mean, it's, it, it, the reason why it's so cool, first, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's just really well put together, but also just the concept. You know, it took them five years to come up with this. Just the idea that you can make this one ingredient, make one thing really good, mm -hmm. and from all that, everything else. It really did look delicious. It was. <laughs>